I really appreciate you joining me today and this is some more news coming from Manchester. The last story that I covered on the murder of Javal Morgan definitely highlighted the issues with violence and especially knife crime and this next story is no different. Tyson Fury, the heavyweight champion of the world, has spoken out and paid respects to his cousin who has been murdered in Manchester in a fight outside a bar. He has also made a plea to people to stop doing it as well, to stop going out with knives and the consequences of what can happen. So before we see what Tyson Fury had to say, I'm going to discuss what the police have said about the murder. His cousin was 31 years old and he's been named as Rico Burton and he died after the attack outside a pub in the Altrincham area of Manchester just after 3am. He was also with a 17 year old who was seriously injured in what police say was a senseless attack. Two men, one aged 20 and another aged 21 have since been arrested on suspicion of murder. Rico had also trained with Tyson and he was a boxer himself until he took up roofing in the later years of his life. Tyson said in the post that my cousin was murdered last night, he was stabbed in the neck. This is getting ridiculous, idiots carrying knives, this needs to stop. He also said it was a pandemic and you don't know how hard it is until it's one of your own. Steve Egan, who is Rico's former coach, said he was devastated to hear of the tragedy. The 60-year-old coach who trains boxers at the Jimmy Egan Boxing Academy in Manchester said Rico won two national titles fighting as a junior in the gym. He said he boxed until he was 19 years old and then he left and got a career in roofing. He went on to say that he taught Rico and he was a lovely lad and I feel like crying. He was a hard working man and he was always a grafter. He was a fantastic fella and I used to call him our Billy Joe Saunders. He was such a good fighter. I'm absolutely devastated he finishes off the statement saying and it's a coward's game to carry a knife. In the police statement, Superintendent Ben Hewitt from Greater Manchester Police said, two suspects remain in custody and our condolences have been sent to the victim. He added that the younger victim is in a serious but non-life-threatening condition and they couldn't confirm if any weapons had been recovered or if there was known to the attackers. But they did say that they believed it may have been spontaneous and unplanned. Police had went to the scene outside the Goose Green in the early hours of the morning after reports that two men had been attacked. Rico was taken to hospital but tragically died shortly after. So at Carnival, there was five people stabbed in three hours at after parties in relation to it. One person died. And now in another sort of drinking situation on a high street, somebody else has also lost their life. So this weekend has definitely been a roller coaster of emotions. In Birmingham, people have been celebrating the win of Leon Edwards and what that does to inspire people to try to better their lives and move away from where they've came from as well and to try to improve themselves because as he said in his speech, he came from Jamaica and he's worked very hard in order to change his life. I do it for Birmingham. I do it for the kids that grew up like I grew up in the trenches. I do it for everyone coming behind me. I told it's possible. We can win a belt from the UK. I told you. Now look at me now. So this is devastating to hear that this has happened. And also, you've got to respect Tyson for speaking out in relation to this. So really appreciate you joining me for this story. And I'll definitely keep you updated in any charges or trial that follows on from this. And hopefully this may impact people to the degree where people try to make a change. People try to prevent this from happening in the future and making better choices when they're out and about. So my condolences to Rico's family and friends and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news.